I think the biggest question that a lot of people ask, I mean, like you guys said, after going through what they experienced with their bio biological parents, how is it even possible that they were put into another home that would be abusive like this? A lot of people are like, how is that even possible? This was a national story, yet they still continued to be put in care by people who were still abusive uh, to them afterwards. What's so horrific about this situation is that when they were with their biological parents, their biological parents told them, you better not tell anybody about what's happening in our house, because if you do, you're going to be removed from us and they're going to place you in a house where the people are going to abuse you even worse than we did. And that's exactly what ended up happening to these kids. I mean, their worst nightmare was fulfilled. They did they they have these incredible acts of bravery to escape from their biological parents only to go right back into the hands of other people who were also willing to abuse them um, and mistreat them and it, it's just a nightmare for them for what i understand oh sorry go ahead no no problem you know you have you have just the best of the best at the riverside county sheriff's department helping these children. You have, first of all, I, I don't wanna forget, and none of us should, is that the true heroes originally that saved the Turpins were the Turpins, right? They are the ones, Jordan is the one that escaped. Jordan is the one that went and alerted authorities, stood up against you know these evil parents of hers. And so then you have the great, terrific, uh, Riverside County Sheriff's Department, the District Attorney's Office, all doing their jobs wonderfully. And the county has these children that they know are the most vulnerable children that they've ever had, right? National attention. And what do they do? They hand them over to ChildNet, close their eyes and hope for the best. It, it makes zero sense. Yeah, absolutely. After reading through that report, at least from what I understood, I mean, the uh, defendants, They've already had um, what experience or I guess been accused of abuse to other foster children before. How is it even possible that they were even able to like look over another family, let alone the Turpins, even after that? Correct. To be clear, uh, the defendants, the child, child net and the county of Riverside knew before the Turpins were placed in their in that home that those foster parents had abused other foster children. Um, and and obviously there are homes within Riverside County that they could have placed them in uh, that would have been you know, exceptional foster homes. And you would think for these children, when the eye of the entire world is on the county, that they would place them in an exceptional foster home where they would have the opportunity to heal and grow and move on. Um, and instead, inexplicably, they ended up in this home.